Come on, mouse, start working. Cabo. Oh. Hello. Yeah, I am. Oh, give me, give me a second. Don't say so anything. Say, say something now, please. Hello. Ah, okay. I, I'm using a, hat, a headset this time, and uh, you were just about to uh, blow my ears out. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let me. Uh, ah, I can understand you this time. Ooh hoo. Very good. Let me see. Uh, I need to get the chat box. Up. Do, do me a favor. Yep. Please answer me if you can see the model um, sharp. Um, well, I need to stay quiet to see it. Bear with me. Say something. Say something. Say something. Say, say, say something. No, it's a bit blurry. OK, then this is definitely something with a connection or Google Hangouts, because I rechecked my camera like like thrice. And um, it was all sharp and clear uh, Excellent. by me. So I don't know where the problem is. Um, well, perhaps um, we'll get some other, other viewers to uh, watch it. Hey, up, Dave. You all right, mate? Hey, how's it going? I'm all right. Nice to see you. Good Hello. evening, mister. Gobbo, meet Davey. Davey, meet Gobbo. Hi. Um, How's it going? You all right? Hi. Davey's um, one of the members of my games club and a good friend of mine. Uh, he's a massive uh, Albionican player. Ah. And he's uh, he's been helping out uh, test some of your new rules, Gobbo. He's, uh... Ah, so, so I, I can't uh, tease him. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Who else without, has just joined? Us? Without doing spoilers, do you like uh, what you got so far? Yeah, uh, I um, I think the um... you you you're not supposed to uh, talk about uh, models by name because if this is online, you oh, you, you yes. could no, no, you I could understand. do spoilers that aren't wanted by Alex. No, I I think the um, the new prices of the units are a bit steep. Uh, we, we, we made a f formula to calculate all the prices by what they are doing on the field. Oh, and, right. Uh, so, so all the prices are uh, calculated now and not just guessed. <laughs> ah, uh, I see. I, I, I am not saying this is, this is the, the perfect thing to do. That's just why we're playtesting it. But I do think it's, it's uh, better than before. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> At least I hope so. <laughs> they will. Well, we had we we tried it out and we had a lot of fun. Uh, me and Joel. Um, I think yeah, it was great. We had a lot of fun. That sounds good. Did it felt more balanced? Uh, there there were a, there were an issue early on in the game where. Where Joel felt as though his units couldn't get a, a solid hit through. Okay, uh, you you played against whom? Uh, against which faction? Uh, the Wood Elves. Ah, okay, yeah. Elves. But then it uh, it was all it, it was all a name sort of like you know the characters like the the halberdier and the crossbowman. The, they went down pretty quickly. It was just sort of like the fire lancer, the uh, captain. Yeah, the the the, the crossbowmen and the the grunts are are just just grunts. So that's right. You're yeah. supposed yeah. to be able to to kill them very secure. Oh yes, it, um, it took them down quite easily after this. Yeah. So it was a it was a good a good battle. I thought. I don't know what Joel thinks, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I felt it were a good little fight that we had. It was fantastic. Yeah, that's that's the best thing you could possibly say about it. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, I don't know about how Adam and um, I don't know how Adam's battle went, but no, it was um, it was good fun. I don't think there were too many problems. 
Um, I've spoken to Gobbo about um, some things, but I think we've uh, we've settled some things and still play testing others. Nice. Yeah, but, yeah it's, but it's it's all looking good so far. Important thing is that you do it uh, one or two times more. <laughs> Yeah, of course. Mm. And if you if you stay up with the same issues, we can talk about it again. Um, I will I will test the play the trolls uh, too, another time. So um, we should uh, get uh, good play testing results for them. But me I and... need need to play the elves too. Me and Matt played. Um... Trolls versus a dragon. Um, Trolls versus a dragon. Three times last night. Yeah, I think he's, he's uh, Matt's writing it all up for you. So um, it was it was good fun, but there's a few things that I think might need your expert mm -hmm. eye or opinion. But I'll let Matt um, send them to you. Okay, I didn't get any feedback by now. But uh, trolls versus dragons will be will be really interesting for me because uh, I <laughs> I can say I, I didn't uh, have any balancing for for this kind of game. I think um, what became clear is that we need some scenarios for monster v monster because um, it became a bit of a slugging match in the middle. Um, but soon as we um, adapted some of the uh, existing scenarios to make things more interesting, then um, it, you know, obviously that stopped us from just hitting each other in the middle of the table, and we had to concentrate on other things. But most of the missions um, and submissions are not suitable for just a monster on their own. That, that's that. Uh, absolutely correct to me um, after reading the uh, original rules and um, and then starting to, to redo them it was absolutely clear that from the rule set Arcworld is a faction versus faction game with the option to add monsters or a monster bob and versus a faction so um, monsters versus monsters is the the, the most unregular type of match you can play. Yeah. Adam, how do you send an invite to uh, other people? Um, so I, I've put the invite out on the Facebook page, so I would suggest uh, maybe just sharing that um, link that I put. So there's I've put two links on the Facebook page, one for um, just watching for those that don't want to hang out and... Um, another one for those that want to join the Hangout. Ah, brilliant. Thank you. No worries. You're simply the best. <laughs> was that just a random bit of singing or was actually... That, 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 that was a random bit of singing aimed at you. <laughs> ah, thank you very much. <laughs> also, very much. Right, so... Last week, I was working on the Warlord. Can we see him? Let me uh, play around with the focus. Come on, focus, focus, focus. So I reckon I'll be painting about that level. Is that in focus, guys? Does that look okay? It's okay, but it, it is a little blurry. All right, let me see what I can do. It, it's it's about uh, about the same blurriness as my my screen. Yeah, <laughs> looks, it's weird, isn't it? It looks perfect on mine. But yeah, maybe it's something to do with just... It's, uh, it's the same with my camera, I told you. So, we've got someone in the chat room. Tuso. Tuso is up. It's, it's one of uh, the guys I know. Oh, good. And he's, he's stalking our painting uh, <laughs> sessions. 
What are you painting, Dave? I am painting a ogre trooper. Woohoo! Uh, Which color scheme? And he has a. I've modified his uh, his uh, sword, so he's not holding a sword anymore. He's got an axe. Nice. Show them. Show him. Show him. Show him. Okay, so uh, I don't know if you can see there. Uh, you've got the the regular one. Hey, Gondow. And then, can you can you hear me? Yep. So you've got this this guy, which is the regular yeah. one. Yeah. I've currently put this uh, axe on him. You can't see that. Oh, can you not? Oh no. You need to talk while you were showing something to us because uh, the camera switches always to the guy who's talking. Okay. Um, so I, I took off the, uh, the sword and I, I sort of filed down the, um, you know, the hilt of the sword and it, it sort of made it look really nice. Like it was, it made a handle for the actual, um, the ax that it was holding, but yeah, it looks, I think I'm quite impressed with that. I think it looks great. I don't know it's if you can see it. It does. But... looks really good. It looks really, really good. Yeah. As almost as if he was meant to hold an axe. I know what you're saying. <laughs> That's this is what I thought. I thought it was just bomb for this. Yeah, we, we need to uh, to uh, buy more of Alex uh, miniatures, so he is able to afford to make uh, different sculpts uh, sculpts of each uh, model. <laughs> that would be great. Uh, I have a few favorites. Who, who needs some additional sculpts, in my opinion. I think that's a great idea. I like your new racks, um, Dave. New purchase? No, it's quite old. I've just, um, I've been roughing it. I've sort of made do with what I had. And then... And, uh, it's great, isn't it? You, you own a lot more colours than me. Uh, it's because I'm lazy and I don't mix them. <laughs> yeah, I'm on the opposite side. I'm I'm poor and I need to mix them. <laughs> <laughs> Students' life. This is life. And the, your, the camera's working quite well, Dave, with uh, the t with your phone. In technology, fantastic, eh? It's. Uh, um, it's that amazing data allowance you were telling me about. <laughs> Maybe. I think so. Yeah, it must be something. So I'm the only one with the bad camera by now. <laughs> but but may, it's, may it's, I... It seems better than last week, Gobbo. Yeah, I tried my best. <laughs> um, Dave, maybe yeah. one su suggestion. You could... Uh, use your camera the other way around so 90 degrees turned so it would fit better to the youtube um format by now you have a, a i don't know the english word uh you have the the long sides uh well, the, the would, portrait yeah maybe so... it's better if you if you turn it by 90 degrees so it fits but yeah like this is that all right, guys? That's much better, yeah. Yeah. I tell you what's awesome. I can hear you better as well because it was resting on the speaker. <laughs> well, Woo! That's, that's, uh, that's fun. I know it's great, isn't it? Yay! It's fantastic. <laughs> oh, brilliant stuff! Oh, wait a minute, Joel's sending me some messages. He's wanting to come into the hangout, but don't let him. Dude, what's the link? Only a YouTube <laughs> one and one that opens hangouts on forum. How do you, how did you, uh, well, there should be a link on Facebook that brings you straight into the Hangout. Um, yeah, it's rather than the, much, the main one. Yeah, I'll, I'll private message it to him. <laughs> My mouse is playing up today. I think the battery is running out on it. He, 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 I mean, he could just use the one where you uh, have written, this is the link you want to use. <laughs> yeah. He's but may, may, maybe that's too easy. Too easy, mate. Too easy. He's maybe in the bath again and getting all confused. 
Uh, it doesn't work on his phone. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm a German and I tend to drink beer while I'm uh, uh, painting, but uh, drinking beer before and don't find the link is, is <laughs> pretty tough. I think my mouse has finally died. You might have to wait, Joel. I'm struggling. Come on. Ah, that's that's a really really good color. I I got a new color for uh, the trousers uh, for the Boglins and Bayoks because I wanted to have them in like a like a jeans color tone, and I'm very pleased. You you can see it because my camera is uh, <laughs> blurry again. <clears throat> okay, Joel, if you can hear me, I've just Facebook messaged you a link to the Hangout. Hopefully that'll work. Genius. There he is. Hello. 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 You're not in the bath, are you? Can you hear me? I can. No, no we can't. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it, the link didn't work from um, when I was clicking on Facebook. It just wouldn't work. And then right. when you invited me, it works. Weird. Weird. Must be uh, a glitch. I can hear my own voice, voice though, uh, Joel. Yeah. You're uh, re-triggering our voices with an, e with an echo. I love my voice. So I'm, I'm quite happy. Oh, it's coming out my phone, that's why. Yeah, give me a second. So, Adam? Yeah, yeah. I want to talk to you about some uh, inks that I'm using. Inks? inks. Yep. Okay. So I've not bothered um, using any layers or anything. However, I'm putting a ink onto straight on prime okay. primed model. Okay. And it's giving it sort of like a stained look for his skin. Uh, any uh, advice on this? So what? Oh. What are you trying to achieve with the ink? Getting it down into the recesses to shade the recesses? Pretty much to give it a smooth colour without having any um, brush lines. Um, and why have you chosen an ink to do that? Um, it stains the white um, oh, right, I get you. primer to, you know, quite easily. Right. Um, well, I've never tried that um, technique. I would normally just kind of paint um, thin layers of a flesh colour until I've got the colour I've um, achieved, uh, the yeah. colour I was after. So um, not much to advise there, really. It's um, something I've never tried, so I'd be interested to see the results. I did that, but but with the green ink, um, when I uh, made a commission for a Ghost Army. So that you get get like like uh, the greenish ghosts from uh, Lord of the Rings. Oh wow! It worked pretty, worked pretty well. That's cool. And it's it, it's really 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 easy to do it. <coughs> That's great. That as well. That sounds really cool. Yeah. If you if you have no time and uh, just. Uh, Want a big army uh, painted fast and without uh, much effort? Go for ghosts. Have you uh, have you seen the um, oh what's it called the the wizard equivalent for the pirates, the undead pirates? The, the what equivalent? Is it the man of the deep? Yeah, old man of the deep. Yeah. Yeah, the old man of the deep. Uh, nice one. I painted one for Jacko. And I, I did exactly that. That's all I did. I just um, spread it, spread it white, and then stained it like um, a dark, greeny tinge color. Yeah. And 
I felt it was fantastic. Yeah, it does look good. Yeah, it's 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 a it's a very easy technique. Nice. You know that... Inks, inks are something uh, I haven't played around with for years. I tend to just make my own from oil paints now. Um, but I, I um, or just watered down acrylic paints to make to the consistency that I'm after. If you know, if I want them to fall into the recesses, I kind of just mix my own. Uh, yeah. I would, would would use a medium for that instead of water. It lets them <laughs> lets them dry more uh, in a better way. Mm. Oh, I can't yeah, really yeah. explain it in English, but uh, if you if you um, use water to thin them down for that effect, you have like um, it dries faster on uh, some uh, points and and uh, slower, and you you get some uh, stains of color. All right. Okay. And yeah. If you if you go for 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 example, Games Workshop's Lamia medium or another type of medium from another uh, company, it it dries all at the same time, and you get a smooth coat. Interesting. Uh, can you hear me? Yep. <laughs> no, we can't. Um, and we just, can't uh, hear our own voices, so that's good. Hey, Joel. Hello. Um, I'm just How trying to let me, just let me talk for a, a minute, because I'm just going to organise my camera. Oh, it's not really uh, <laughs> coming to me. There you go. That's the only way I can see myself is uh, when I'm talking, because it's, I'm using my phone, which is really, really awkward, actually. Oh, I, well, I can't see anything. Uh... It's just turned off. It's been annoying. Um, yeah, you join this conversation. Let's look at this. I'm going video call. Oh. There we go. Let's see if I come back on now. It's kind of organised. Yeah, I can see your keyboard now. Is. Can you can see my hand? Hello? Yes. Yep. So, so it's all just delayed on the um, thing, isn't it? So we might just have to go. It is by by about thirty seconds. There we go. I'll tell you. I want to flip this round. There we go. So, what are you painting tonight, Joel? I'm going to carry with my halflings. I haven't really done much. I've I've, I've done the um, I've done the non-metallic metal to a an acceptable standard. Um, I'm not I'm not that happy with it, but I'm going to go with it because I think it might get better with um. When I put on the other um, other colours, you know, right. brightening okay. up a little bit, and it might look. I'll 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 I'll, I'll, I'll stick a, the best guy I've done, which is my capsule. I'll stick him there, and I'll look see if we can uh, focus on him. Um, Gob Gobbo is the guy that you need to send your um, feedback from last week's play testing to, um, if you haven't done so already. Oh uh, well. Do you have? Do you guys have access to the uh, playtesting folder? Um, yeah. Dropbox? No, no. I just printed off the oh. playtest um, rules profiles for them and uh, the feedback sheet. I will. I will uh, give you uh, access to to a folder, uh, Adam. Oh, you can you. share. And okay. then you can directly upload your feedback uh, to that folder, and I will get it. Okay. And then I won't read it, and I uh, will just delete it. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. of course not. Sounds like the stuff I do at work. So a lot of people, when I'm telling them that I paint miniatures, they, they kind of give me that funny look. Like, uh, what do you do? You know, like, what what, what do you do? <laughs> and then um, you have to... Uh... And then it gets, even, it, get, it gets even weirder when I tell it, when I tell them, like, oh, I lick, I lick my brush. <laughs> I'm a brush licker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aren't we all? It's amazing, isn't it? It's amazing. Some is, people, is, is, some is people there... uh, is there any painter who is not licking his brush? I get well, they're not doing it right if they're not. I get the odd odd person for a lesson that I, uh, you know, part of the lesson I say, look, 
the technique I use, you have you need to lick, lick your brush, but here's some clean water if you're not uh, keen on that. And I think 90% of people who come for a lesson are quite happy to lick their brush, but um, mm. there's the odd few that are not too keen, which is fair enough. Um, this is the stage I'm on with my half lens if it comes up. I'm trying to um, get it in focus, actually. Oh, brilliant. Oh, man. There you go. That's the non metallic oh. metal I've got. I can't. Uh, you can't really see it, can you? It's not, it's not great. But um, he's got a lot of it on. But it focused for a second, then it looked good. Yeah, the general guys, the kind of hats look a little bit like that. We'll see. Which is all right, you know. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping the other colours bring it out. Fantastic. Mostly done with an airbrush, then I just finished it off with the, like, the, like the real edges with pure light. Um, I've started um, doing the faces, uh, just a base colour on the faces, then I'm going to ink and then gradually build up into their cartoonish features. So basically I'm just putting base layers on, on the skin now. I've done half of them. I'll do the other half of them now. You've become a real um, airbrush convert, haven't you? Uh... Joel. Where it saves me time and is better than my actual skill, yes. <laughs> Which I feel it's, it's got that dual. It makes you look a lot better than you are, and <laughs> it's a lot faster. Airbrush so, is like 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 cheating. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Guys, I need your advice. Uh, do I want it to make all trousers of my ox and boglins blue, or do I want to change for like one or two in a different color? I think it's always nice to have a bit of variation in a, in a war band, but maybe if you're not doing blue trousers, maybe do blue something else so they've got that tying them together as uh, you yeah. know as a group. Yeah, I like that. Like that uh, worker suit blue. This 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 blue blue suit blue dungarees. Ooh, whatever. I, I I like like this as a as a general style for them. So yeah, maybe I'd recommend if it was me, I'd I'd probably go all the same colour. However, you could probably maybe put like a, a a mud stain or like uh, maybe some tears in the fabric so that the green skin shows through. Ah, uh, the green uh, screen is is showing uh, at plenty of places. It's it's just uh, they all wear the, these 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 special type of trousers, which I decided to paint in a like a jeans blue. But I'm not sure if I'm happy with a warband with uh, all blue trousers. Yeah, yeah. It's different for the Albion crew because they're uh, it's yeah they have uniforms. That's a different thing. Yeah, yeah. So I've had it easy. I don't have to make these hard decisions. Did you? I don't think you got to see the warlord, Dave. I think you came in later. Um, there he is. I don't know if you can. Uh... Oh, it's like Salron. Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't he? That's pretty badass, that. <clears throat> yeah. So does he have a ring or piece of jewelry or something? There was one one guy in the in the in the awkward group who made a conversion with the ring. I don't <laughs> know who it was, but uh, I liked it. So was like um, Peter Jackson or anyone been in touch with uh, Alex <laughs> for like copyright or anything? Not that I know of. I, I don't think you need a copyright for just a random Dark Lord. So my um, call just crashed. I'm not sure if my phone's getting very hot. It's very hot in here. Um, but I just My phone actually just switched itself off. Wow. Oh. Which, uh, if it does that again, I might have to abandon it for the sake of my um, Samsung Galaxy S7. <laughs> You'd think if any phone's uh, going to be capable of 
uh, streaming, it would be something as high quality as that. That's uh, it's very hot though. You know, it's hot in my yeah. room. Oh, is it? That, yeah. So uh, no I'm streaming gonna... from. No streaming from hot countries. Oh, well, you have air conditioning there. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. But that's the problem with Britain. I can handle the heat. You can handle the crunch. Oh, wow. I just found the fish on my org. A fish? A fish. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, wow. this 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 one this one is carrying like like a sheep or something, and uh, he also has a fish on the, <laughs> on the back of his uh, uh, trousers, strapped on. So he's uh, a guy who likes to eat, I guess. <laughs> I think that's called um, a war block moment, isn't it? When you uh, painted one of Alex's sculpts and you discover something you didn't know that was was there. Yeah, yeah, it's just like, oh, I'm going to make that all blue. Wait, there's a fish. What's he doing? I there? can't wait to do my giant for that. Yeah, there's also there's three rats running around on the giant, and yeah. uh, if you're careful, you can spot. The question is, how do I paint a fish? <laughs> You could um, silver and then wash with black to go in the scales. Uh, it's the hard part is how do I how do I uh, paint the fish to stick out from blue trousers? You can um, make a goldfish. Get a gold wise fish. guy. Make it a clownfish. No, <laughs> it's not 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 yeah, formed like Nemo. a clownfish. It does not look like a clownfish, so That'd I. That'd be hilarious, it. though. Nemo, an arc-eating Nemo. <laughs> Finding Dory in in an ox stomach. <laughs> on the um, on the giant's waistband, where he's got his belt full of uh, all the loot. Um, if you look carefully, there's a uh, wallet. Really? <laughs> Where's Wally? Where's Wally? No, I'm just joking. Not really. <laughs> no, I'm just being an idiot. No, not really. S since Alex did the model, I would have believed you. There's there is a, a like a busty woman. Yeah, there is actually. I, I would can. Um, In a sack. I think under the. Yeah, that's right. And then under the uh, the the well, the the rubble, there is a man poking out. But yeah, it's fantastic. I love yeah, that. Yeah, so there's goats, pigs, sheep, rats, maidens, squashed squashed guy under the rubble. It's, yeah, it's good sculpt. How many how many giants have you painted now, Adam? Three, I think. Um. Yeah. Oh no, maybe just two. One for you, and then one for that guy in America. But he's got smashed in the post, which was a shame. Oh, you oh. joke! Yeah, I painted him. Oh, a, no. I painted him a dragon and a and um, a giant, and they smashed. They got smashed in the post on the way to America. What was that? An insured parcel? Well, yes, it was, but. Um, as with most insurance, the small print that the insurance company pointed out to me afterwards um, did, did not cover um, figurines. They classed them as figurines or something like that. So, How dare so, they? It's art. These are not top. Yeah. <laughs> but their, their small print list had just about everything under the sun that wasn't covered. That's kind of the job of their lawyers that you pay when you pay yeah. for insurance. So is it just They're me or scum. Right? Does, is it just me or do you know when people sort of like say, oh, I love your toys, I sort of like throw a little tantrum in my head. <laughs> like, They're not toys, how dare you? Uh, what are you talking about? Well, they are, aren't they? They, they are. Really? They are. 
if you're a war gamer, you just have to face the fact that you're a grown man playing with toy soldiers. <laughs> and, but, but that's fine. That's fine. Oh, okay. As long as you guys admit it, I'll, I'll go with it. <laughs> I take it as a compliment. I guess so, yeah. yeah. It, it's just they're the truth. jealous because they've all had to grow up and imagine that that's what being an adult's about and they're all sensible and then bored. Right. Well, Danielle's joined us again. Hi, Danielle. Uh, she calls them gaming pieces. Good night. <laughs> they're not yeah. toys, they're gaming pieces. <sighs> and she says, F you to insurance companies. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, raging again. He said hello. I missed that one. He was uh, here last week, wasn't he? He was. Or at least well, I remember the name. Yeah, yeah. Welcome back. Oh, he might be the guy that said he's coming for a lesson with me. I can't remember. Someone did, didn't they? I would love to come over to Germany and do some lessons, and I will join. If uh, all expenses paid trip to uh, Germany, I could uh, maybe do that. I. What, huh? what area of Germany are you from again? You told us last week, I've forgotten. I didn't understand you. <laughs> what area of Germany? Ah, I'm from, 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 from the rural area. It's in uh, the very west uh, of Germany, uh, near the Netherlands. Okay. It's where all the good beer comes from. My uh, wife's just discussing beer. She wants to make some plum beer. Because we've got about 14 bags of plums from our allotment, and we don't know what to do with it. But I think that sounds horrible. I saw you put a link on Facebook about plum wine or something. Uh, Did I? Yeah. Oh, someone maybe linked it to me. Yeah. Asking about it. That I mean, that sounds horrible. Even plum <laughs> wine, I'd just go for the hardcore moonshine. Just <laughs> mix it with something else, I reckon. Moonshine, yeah. I I'm just painting a little boglin delivering moonshine. Is it? Oh, plum. Ask him. How he did that. <laughs> Is he the one from Troubles in the North? No, it's not. Uh, I decided to go with regular Boglins first because uh, I own them twice and uh, it's not that sad if I mess them up. Uh, sorry, not Trouble in the North. Um, it, it, ba it, Balfour Trowbridge. No, no, no. no. It, it, this is the classic one. And no. uh, I didn't uh, do the Trowbridge one because I only own him once and uh, I have all these twice. So I'm going for sure. This would This would be the... The Trowbridge one. Can you can you see that? Ah, uh, there. Yeah. I need to remember not to talk when people are trying to show things on because it turns my camera on. <laughs> <clears throat> this is awesome. I, um, I'm using my um, to hold my phone in place. It's well, that's a good idea. I'm living the dream. <laughs> All the best films are made with clothes pegs. I think so. I've gone for blue tack so, tonight. So I've heard. And blue tack. Oh. So the Kickstarter starts in, uh, is it 10 days, I think? At the 13th, in nine days. Nine days. Don't oh, panic me. Counting down, aren't they? Don't say, panic me, Adam. Say again, Joe. Someone on the forum's counting down, that's what it is. Someone said 10 yesterday and yeah, then today, that'll be what it, it is. It's Ian. Ian is counting down. Uh, 
Well, it'd be nice. Till Christmas, isn't it? Or something. Yeah. Something around. Well, it'd be nice to have. I don't know how long the Kickstarter's lasting for, actually. I assume a month. A month. It's normally thirty days, isn't it? So, uh... Yeah. It'd be nice to um, hopefully it'll attract some new players to the game and uh, grow the community even more because it's 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 grown loads since the last one. It's good. Would be great. Would be great. I will uh, definitely do some promotion here in Germany when it's running. When we were play testing at um, Patriot Games last night in Leeds, a couple of guys came over and were really interested in the game. But yeah. I think a Gang of Trolls taking down a dragon looks pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if they're painted by you. Oh, thank you. Oh, get a room. Yeah. Oh. It's just the truth. Did you, did you see his models? They are perfect in every way. Yeah, so... <laughs> I, I I must admit I do think Adam was probably the next Michelangelo reincarnated. <laughs> Should see his bathroom ceiling. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, maybe I'll uh, stream from the bathroom like you, uh, Joel, and people will get to see it. Well, if you want to attract new players, Adam. <laughs> Uh, Daniel, so Danielle says, Plum makes excellent jam. Yeah, I, I don't need 400 <laughs> jars of it, though. <laughs> I mean, really. You've got that many? It's bags and bags. You know, carrier oh. bags. It's a joke. Sell it on the side of the road, Joel. Yeah, it's more. More yeah, my wife's just saying there's more to come as well. They didn't get all of it today. <laughs> it's insane. It's like in Gremlins when they get water on them. <laughs> <laughs> you should sell it on the side of the road, Joe. Like, uh, like they do in Mexico. Right. See how that goes down the hill, please. Yeah, it'd be good. It'd well, be good. Well, be you might get some, uh, get some work as well, you know. Nah. Nah. So, um, are you guys going to come to the Leeds um, fiasco again this year? I'd like to. What's that aircon? What? What? The fiasco? What's that? Oh, fiasco is in. It's in October sometime. Um, it's a war game in. In when? Sorry. In October, I can't remember the exact date. You'll have to Google it. Okay. Um, uh, at the Royal, it's usually at the Royal Armouries. Um, War game. Oh, okay. convention. It's quite good. Um, Arkworld's going. I think I'm going to be running the demo table there again this oh, year. Cool. Dave helped me. Was it last year, Dave? No, it was the year before that. Was it? Was it two years ago? When is that? Oh, was it? Sometime, uh, October sometime. Yeah, just Google Leeds fiasco. Yeah. yeah, if I'm free, I'll come. I've got a. We we have the biggest uh, board game fair in the world here in Germany, in a town next to mine. Essen. In October in Essen, yeah, the Spiel. Yeah, Spiel. Love to go to that. Yeah, I would too. I I I think uh, maybe Alex and Matt are visiting this year. Yeah, there, I think Matt was mentioning it to me last night. Uh, I don't know. I need to work out some logistics if I can come. Yeah, they they volunteered to uh, sleep uh, here in my my student uh, <laughs> room. <laughs> that will be funny. <laughs> Remind me what you study, Gobbo. Uh, mechanical engineering. Oh wow. Oh, that explains the rules. <laughs> <laughs> what was that a compliment or? <laughs> no, it was it was it was a logical uh, assumption. Okay, <laughs> assumption. You know, you know, engineering and you know, creating rules for a world kind of go hand in hand, don't they? 
Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's all the cliches. Huh? It, it's a German yeah. who's studying <laughs> mechanical engineering. He likes rules. <laughs> give me give me a moment after I finished uh, this pair of trousers here. I'll get a beer to uh, complete the cliche. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't a German comment actually. It was more an engineering comment. But now you say it. Okay, I think he's about done. I need to uh, gloss him ready for an oil wash. I can't be bothered doing that tonight, so I better choose something else to paint. What do you think, guys? Uh, which way do I need to move him that way? I think you should paint your face. Paint my face next? Yeah, yeah, like... Um... That, that would be awesome, but do it live on camera. <laughs> yeah, like, do you know for people that want to go fancy dress? And if you if you if you if you're going to paint your your face, you could uh, directly start to make one of those beauty channels here on YouTube. Yeah, brilliant! Yeah, there we go. Adam does your face. And then 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 we make a song for you, like Adam Boise style. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Boise style. <laughs> Perfect. The viewing numbers just drop then, SF. <laughs> <laughs> right, what shall I paint next? I think the only thing I've got primed um, from Ark World is probably a troll. Uh, aren't you painting the, the Thane? The what? The Thane? The boss of the Nurse Wall? Yeah, but he's done for now. I need to... Um, Although, no, actually, I've just spotted I need to paint the plume on the top of his helmet. Is it a plume or is it? I don't know what. Oh, no, it's a dragon. Ooh. See, I've just had a warplock moment. There's a. Mm -hmm. it's, there's actually a tiny little dragon sculpted onto the top of his helmet. That's awesome. Didn't notice. I thought it was just feathers. I keep, got, got the thing I keep finding on their toes is a casting line, which I couldn't see, and, and now I've just painted the skin on their toes. I've just noticed I did clean it up. Well, put them on, so I'm going to go around and get just a really thin um, like piece of string. I don't know what to call it, you know, but you know, from the from the moulding. It's on the toes, and I thought it was their hair on their feet, and now I've painted it. It's obviously a, a, from the moulding, whatever. I just <laughs> got to go and clean that up. I'm just thinking, um, anyone who's watching on YouTube or in the chat box, if they want to join us and paint us, just. Uh... Just let me know and I can send you a link. It's uh, be nice to have some more people. There's plenty of room. I think you can have up to 10 people and there's only five of us, isn't there? Four of us. Because more is always better. Yes. Always. I've not got a great angle on my camera. I need to sort this out, I think, at some point. Or, or invest in a webcam. How's mine looking? Is it quite uh, grainy? I, is it? It's yours. Is it's yours is the best one of the, be the I think probably the best picture. What? Yeah, it is. I don't know. Um, I don't what, know how I've done it. It's just the. It's just an iPhone. You're just cheating. <laughs> oh, it sounds like you're jealous. I'm not. <laughs> I, I do like that I uh, spend half an hour to uh, get my camera view extra sharp and now it's blurry again because I don't know what YouTube does with it. Oh, Your, yours looks really good though, I can see you. This, you know, I'm looking at Joel at the minute, it looks fantastic. Ah, so... Um... Really? Okay. Maybe it's all down to really clear, Dave. Yeah, Dave's does look good. I've just not got a very good position of mine. Um, I can't get something to hold my camera up. After last week, where I dropped it about 10 times, I've given up and I've just blue tacked it to my lamp. <laughs> um, raging again, said he painted his nails once when he was bored. <laughs> I've never been tempted to do that while I've been painting uh, miniatures. And Danielle said she's uh, resisted buying any art quilt uh, before the Kickstarter. 
So, I mean, I I don't think you need to be painting Arkwell to uh, join. I think we decided that last. I'm happy for people to jump in and be painting anything, really. So it's more about the painting. I guess we've all got Arkwell in common, but... You're talking be... about painting... You're talking about painting nails, Adam. Um, um, some people yeah, there's some someone in the chat box is the saying the, uh, the we're painting their nails. I think we probably do that. Adam, a little sideline. Yeah, you never know. Having said that, I, I, I was thinking about with the airbrush. When you've got an airbrush and a compressor, you can make killing at festivals. My friends used to have a little tent and an airbrush compressor and stencils of tattoos. Oh yeah. So you know. People who think they're hippies for the weekend because they <laughs> okay, guys. smoked a bit of wacky backy and they want a tattoo, you know, for the weekend before they have to go back to their job in a bank on Monday, and they'll pay like you know, cliche six quid for an airbrush tattoo. <laughs> I completed the cliche, by the way. So may I present to you, good job. You mean Lederhosen? No, 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 no. I, I, I'm not not Irish. <laughs> I've just got a good beer. I've always wanted to go to Germany. It always looks like a beautiful, beautiful place. It is. Or it doesn't. It does in the films anyway. Oh, oh, oh. But England is, is also a beautiful place. I was there twice and I really liked it there. It's the most beautiful place in the world on the three days a year it doesn't rain. <laughs> uh, I, I like the the asterisk com uh, comment on that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Steal the beer from the rugby team. <laughs> Is it always that foggy here? No, not when it's raining. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, troll time. I think. Okay, who do you plan, plan on trolling? <laughs> this guy. Which guy? Um, is this the forest troll? I think this is the forest troll, isn't it? It is. It's the coolest of all trolls, just because uh, he's included into the uh, Bjork faction. That's right. Oh, well, you're Bjork, aren't you? Bjork. Uh, Not to be confused with the Sc uh, Icelandic singer. Who beats up uh, uh, interviewers at uh, airports. Do you remember that? The, <laughs> Day which will live in infamy. <laughs> Speaking of infamy, actually, how are you guys doing? With infamy? Yeah, have you started yet? Or is it something that's on the back burner? Well, can't get the. Um, we're still waiting for the stats. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with them. Uh, I painted. Have you seen my Harry the Hat, Dave? No, I haven't. Is it coming along well? <laughs> it's finished. No way. I'll show you. There's my Harry the Hat. Uh, which way do I need to? That way. You see him? There he is. I'm just Har currently focused on Joel at the second. Uh, Harry the Hat. Oh, that's fantastic. Harry the oh. Hat, Harry the Hat, Harry the Hat. Yeah, it was fun to paint. So yeah, we just need the rules so we can start playing it. Which which game is that? It's a, a steampunk game called Infamy, and uh, they had a quite a successful Kickstarter. But we've got the rules, but we just haven't got the stats for the characters, so we we can't play yet. So as a I got chatting with them at um, Salute, um, the big gaming convention in London. And yeah. so I came back to our club um, and convinced a lot of the guys to get in on it with me. 
Um, but now we can't play it, so it's a bit frustrating. There's but been, there's been uh, quite a few games you've wrote me in on there. So. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Uh, I like it. It's good. Uh, do, do, do. I don't know whether to airbrush this. I might, I might mute my mic, or because um, I'm going to have to turn the airbrush on. I think, and uh, so you guys chat away, and I'm going to mute, uh, lower my microphone a bit. Hello, hello, hello. Am I quiet so, now? Okay, now that he can't answer, probably, who has some ludicrous stories about him? <laughs> Am I quiet? Yeah. Or can you hear me just as loud? No, nah, we, we just prefer to ignore you, Adam. <laughs> I need an Seems the same answer. to me. Can you, can you hear me? Any, is it quieter? Or? Yeah, it is a lot quieter. Oh, good. Okay. Uh, what color shall I do a forest troll? Brown greenish. Yeah. Oh, where is it? There it is. Where is it? I tell you, I've got all these okay. paints. I've got one paint that I need. It's like that piece of Lego you can never find. Where is it? What game was that? You have pieces of Lego you can't find? Yeah, do you know when you're after one specific piece of Lego? I have all my Lego pieces well, well sorted in special boxes. Just because wow. I tend to play Mobile Frame Zero, which is an awesome Mac-based uh, Lego tabletop war game. Oh wow! And uh, I thought you were joking when you said that. Yeah, no, no, I no, thought no. you were joking. <laughs> and and if I if I if I uh, want to build something, I need to know where all the parts are. It's it's a good game. It's one I of my favorite Mo Mobile Frame Zeros. Look it, look it up if you don't know it. I'll, I'll check that out. Yeah, I, uh, Joel, I thought there was a lot of joking going on there as well. <laughs> yeah. OCD can be uh, a good thing. Oh, I definitely uh, don't have an OCD for uh, sorting things in little boxes. It's just uh, that I'm a lazy guy, and uh, sorting them once is a lot less work than searching for them every single time. That's You've got one up on me there, mate. That's why I'm always looking for that little piece of Lego. <laughs> I'm I'm all only this uh, kind of guy for for things I work with. It's uh, the rest of my of my uh, living place is uh, well sorted chaos. Oh, good stuff. Worst thing is uh, if you clean up your your living place and don't find anything any longer. So, uh, Gobbo, are you, in, are you in Germany right now, Gobbo? Since I live here, yes, I am. Sorry, sorry, I didn't, I, I didn't know if you'd uh, moved to the UK or not. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm a German living in Germany. Oh, brilliant! In a, in so, a beauty, yeah. I think, I think it'd be a pleasure to uh, challenge you to a game sometime. I think it'd be a good, uh, a good thing. You want to, want to challenge me to a game of Ark World? Yeah, yeah. You're free to visit me. I have a nice gaming board and a lot of miniatures. We can play. Just, just come on over. That sounds fantastic. Me and Dave tried played, uh, last week, didn't we, Dave? Uh, with with the new rules. Yeah. I can't divulge, of course, even though you wrote them. How did you uh, think? How did you think that we're going to end out that one? 
I think it would have been very even. I think I would have won on points just because my chieftain had killed loads of things and your ogre hadn't killed anything. Yeah. So those extra victory points. The, the war chief was brutal, wasn't he? he? He took down a lot of people, whereas your ogre was very unlucky. He did a lot of, lot of hitting, but not a lot of killing. It's, it's, the the, problem. Um, it's really nice to hear you talk about victory points. Because sometimes when I when I read uh, reports, I'm not quite sure if the uh, <laughs> people registered that it is uh, about victory points and not about killing the most uh, models. Yeah. <laughs> How many turns uh, did we do, Dave? Was it? F did we do four or five? I think we got to four four turns. Um, yeah, we're out of time. Just like we played, we played Wood Elves, Wood Elves versus Albonica. Yeah, and um, Albonica initially was quite brutal. He did what, what? What was that horrible crossbow order thing you did? Oh, I, uh, if you make them um, start a uh, hold, you, you make them hold on their own, and then uh, gave the Not advance better. order. And I was clueless to this because I'd, I'd, I'd you, never you played. You to make them. Um... On one on one turn, you have to make them sort of stand ground. So on the next turn, they can it unlocks an ability called snipe. Yeah, which is quite brutal when uh, three of them are using it at once with a captain's order. Ah, uh, not not yeah, worth so not worth elves. Yeah. It, it is it is not stronger than shooting uh, a single shots versus versus elves because they have this high maximum block. Ah, see. So if you if you just go for three um, three snipes at once, it's basically just a three strike attack with the snipe profile. And uh, since the elves have <laughs> have like uh, three block dice, it's not not worse for them. It's uh, especially good against uh, models with uh, a low maximum block. Oh. Maybe we played it wrong then because we had it. With them doing fifteen wounds to one elf with it, <laughs> maybe we played the rule wrong, Dave. Uh, you can do fifteen wounds to one uh, elf if the elf rolls very poorly. Yeah, I think that's uh, what you I, said, I, wasn't it, Joel? You um, uh, you didn't you didn't block any of them. That's why all the wounds. But also, them. Dave, didn't you do that thing where you got about five crits? Wasn't it when you roll a six, you get to roll an extra dice, and you did that oh, literally four that times was... in a row, didn't you? That was the uh, captain's repost. How was it? I and, uh, that. <laughs> the, ca I got, the, ca I got... the captain has an ability, uh, I think it's Flurry of Blows or something. That's right, that's right. Where he yeah, can yeah. roll an extra die for every six he rolls, even if the six is from an extra die. I got, I got very lucky. Yeah, he yeah. got about four of them in a row. It was, it was ridiculous what happened. I think you're apologising by the fourth one, were you? Yeah, well, uh, I'm, 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 I'm very humble about my murder. <laughs> I only get lucky when I play Gremlins. <laughs> I, I played uh, Gremlins versus James in one of the first uh, test games I made. And I, I think I missed one strike in the whole game. Wow. And I rolled crits like... 50% of the time. I want some of those dice. It, it was just slaughter. Pure and evil slaughter. I got some black wash uh, left. Can someone use it? <laughs> <laughs> How's the uh, fish coming on? The fish is, uh, will not be painted today. Oh, that's a better view now, uh, Gobbo. That's a better view now, Gobbo. It's a better view. Yeah. You can you can see the the one. Yeah, well, you can see the highlights now and. Ah, I will I will I will try to use the same spot for multiple models. Maybe now I can show show some some to you. Without the com uh, camera refocusing. Yeah, they look nice. I can see them now when I stop talking. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I think I need need to talk a little more when I when I'm going for them. Yeah, I I think uh, for most models I will be will be mostly done when the when the trousers are are highlighted. Because uh, all that's left to do then is, is some details like like uh, this guitar or the hat or something, and they can be done quite uh, quickly. <sighs> yeah. Are you going to the club tomorrow night, Adam? Um, I'm going to try You're my best to, to get there. Yeah, I've got a, I've got a staff um, do after work. So uh, yeah, I might be a bit late. So I'm afraid you might have to make your own way there, Dave. No problem, mate. Thank you. Bring them with you. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Let's cancel that meal and those drinks, and you guys come and uh, play some war games with me instead. Play war game. Play to some Ark World for us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah that's I'm, nice for, mate. I'm sure they'll love that. I'm still on. I'm still on probation, so uh, I'll probably still uh, work. lose my job. Yeah. <laughs> God on probation. Yeah, for two years. Wow. You have probation for two years? Yeah, it's yeah. It's only a maximum of one year, though, isn't it? Probation. In, in Germany, it's six months. Right, no, two years for, for me. Was my that con was that my, con my contract is only two years as well, so that's uh, all a bit strange, but hey, yeah. Is this the random drug testing that they did? <laughs> yeah. Say, uh, Adam, do you get all of the uh, preview models for Arcworld? Yeah. No, no, I haven't. Um, I've only got the uh, Dark Lord for for the new Kickstarter. So, so you didn't buy, buy all all of the the preview models at put on the shop? No. Us. That said, I would uh, have loved to see you painting the Mantomba. Yeah, I was. Um, I think when they were up on the shop, I was uh, in the transition from my old job to the new one, so I didn't have much cash available. You need to stop going on uh, family holidays. That's your problem. Yeah. Stop, well, let's... Stop, stop spending money on your children. It's what I work for is uh, holidays. No, no, don't do that. Madness. Hello. Sorry, hello. Hello. My daughter's just arrived. See, my, my daughter's just arrived back home. She's saying hello. Sorry. Does she paint? Hello. Uh, she... She paints pictures. She's painted a couple of I was going to do one with her over the summer holidays, but we never got around to it. She paints, she's a very good artist. Oh, that's it. Oh, highlighting. <laughs> oh, Daniel said she'll uh, take the black wash, Gobbo. Um, send your address to uh, Gobbo and he'll pop it in the post for you. <laughs> Do that, and I will do that. <laughs> no, you disbelieve me, but uh, Tuzo uh, can uh, uh, speak for me that I'm crazy enough to do that. <laughs> I think it's very generous of you. Yeah, but it might be uh, have been dried if it arrives. <laughs> just, just let me have a look where it is. Ah, it's quite liquid by now. So maybe if you're from a street away or or two, that could work out. You're from Britain. Uh, I won't bet money. Uh, 
something happened the other day, Adam. Oh yeah. I, uh, we was me, me and Adam and Joel. We, we're currently involved in a, a D and Dungeons and Dragons game. And um, Adam's character is sort of slightly traumatized. Yep, he's been through a few things. It's been emotional. Yeah. <laughs> what did you do well, to him? him? Well, it's not me. It's the, his past. He was uh, he's a street urchin. Um, he's had a hard childhood. He's seen some terrible things. But he's making it's up for it in his adulthood by by doing terrible things. <laughs> But Adam got into character and it were quite, um, I don't know, crazy. Things got a bit crazy. Yeah, I, I was sat there like, oh, God, what do I do now? Like, <laughs> it was slightly um, nerving, actually. Well, I was, uh, I was just reacting to, to your character, so it sounds like we we're playing off of each other. Ah. My guy's just a, a, a thief. <laughs> What are you playing, uh, Adam? Um, he is a rogue assassin uh, street urchin. A rogue assassin street urchin. Uh, like Oliver Twist with a, a psychotic, with something wrong with his brain. Yeah. So his, back, his, uh, his mission in life is to seek... Uh, out his abusers um, from his childhood and uh, poison them is his usual way of uh, dispatching them but some people say that um, it's all in his head and that anyone he takes a dislike to he, uh, he thinks that there, uh, there, there is abusers from the past so nobody really knows if he is dispatching uh, evil doers or whether it's all in his head and he's dispatching uh, innocent people. Have you seen a film called... Um, oh, do, do, do. oh, it'll come to me in a no, second. No, I, I don't know a film called... Oh, oh do, 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 do. No, yeah, it's very, it's very good. <laughs> <laughs> just, just show us the truth well, some more. I'll, I'll, describe, I'll describe the film to you, and then you might be able to uh, tell me if you've seen it. So, um, a guy... Um, has two sons he's an only parent and one day he brings home a man ties him to the chair in chains and tells his son that he's a demon that this man's a demon and that he's on a mission from god uh and he's he's got to he's got to kill uh this demon uh, and that god is going to give him a weapon uh, and some tools in the next few days to do that so they've got this guy tied up in the kitchen for a few days and then um his, the dad returns a few days later and he's got, uh, he's got an axe and this is what it, uh, God has given him to execute these demons. And then an, another few days later, he comes home with these uh, rubber um, leather gloves, um, workman's gloves, and these are the gloves that God's given him so he can touch the demons and he won't be, um, he won't be uh, affected by them. And the whole film's uh, him dispatching these people in this way and one son thinks he's completely mad uh, and it's kind of the child's journey of trying to deal and process with what his dad's doing and then the other son completely believes him and uh and uh and help helps him out uh, it's uh it's, it's that animated it's that muppet film <laughs> um and it's, yeah, yeah. I want to say Kevin Kevin Bacon, but it's not Kevin Bacon. It's the guy from Aliens who freaks out. Uh, what are we going to do now, man? What are we oh, going to hey, do? Uh, Bill Paxton. Bill Paxton, yeah. Yeah, yeah, him. Does not sound like my kind of movie. Yeah, it sounds very good. I quite like that idea. Uh, Danielle's up north, she said. So uh, I can't remember what she's what that uh, is an answer to. Sorry, Danielle. And then she says, "Was the brown green transitions made with the airbrush?" Um, it was. So I've just quickly blocked out some colours with the airbrush green for the fur and brown for his a kind of ready brown for his flesh. Um, 
I think if I wasn't painting online, I probably would have continued with the airbrush, but it's, I don't think it makes for very good viewing. Um, so at the moment, I'm just washing in some uh, dark greens into the shadows of his fur. I still think using an airbrush is like cheating. <laughs> I agree. It's the Absolutely. it's the best painting tool I've ever bought for the hobby. It's it's brilliant. I, I believe you, but since I can't afford one, I will uh, just declare it as cheating. <laughs> <laughs> I declare shenanigans. Woo woo woo! Where? <laughs> So I'm thinking we need to jazz up this little conversation for all the viewers. Oh yeah. Go on then. I'm thinking like like um maybe some disco lights and disco lights. I've just um yeah. I've just pi pimped my nice. son's uh bunk bed for him. I got so I've been playing around. Do you know the you can buy um LED lights for like dirt cheap off eBay, like big long I got a five meter strip of LED lights and they come with a little remote control so you can change them to any color you want. And then um, wow. his bunk bed backs onto his bedroom wall. So I pulled the bunk bed out, put um, a strip of these lights all the way around his bunk beds um, and then um, rigged up the remote control next to his bed. So when he's laid in bed at night, he can choose whatever color and his whole um, bed now lights up and shines on the wall. Um, various colours. He was, he was well chuffed. It was a good, it was a good dad moment. <laughs> a good dad moment. Yeah. Do you have like like good dad moments and bad dad moments? Uh, there's definitely some dad dad bad dad moments. Okay. <sighs> oh. So that's my story. I'm thinking of, um, is this, right, so when you, when you watch Twitch, yep. um, or making, making a podcast or whatever, you cannot play, um, real music because of the copyright? Well, um, if you want to put it on YouTube, um, there is the chance that they will mute it when that, when a non, when a copyrighted song is playing. Um, or what ca what tends to happen is they'll just send you an email saying you have posted a video with some copyright music on. Don't worry, you're not in trouble. Um, but we've contacted or, or the owner or maybe the owner's contacted YouTube to say that they own that music. And um, I think if you start earning loads of money from that video, then the guy who owns the copyright of the music will probably have to be given a cut. The problem is only on YouTube if you monetize your your videos. If you don't monetize them, it's not a big issue. All right. So I, I think we should do this. I, I monetize I this stuff. Want to meet the guy from Foo Fighters. <laughs> so sit in a room with him. Say, so look. Even if I even if I had to pay him, I would meet him. I'd love that. But yeah, that'd be fantastic. So you want to include some Foo Fighter music in this stream? How how many? Yeah. How many abonnements do you have on YouTube, Boise? How many what? Abos do you have on YouTube? Subscribers. The English word is su su subscribers. Oh, um, I don't know actually. If it's just one, it's me. <laughs> no, I've got I've got a few. I think. It, I've, I haven't, I've never counted them, don't I? You can look that up, you don't need to count them. 
Yeah, Daniel said you got to. You can use certain music, but it's best to ask permission first to avoid trouble. Two hundred and thirty-three guys subscribe to your channel. How many? Two hundred and thirty-three. Struth. That's actually genuinely surprised me. I didn't realise it was that many. I want to get in on this. Okay, so my chef's coming along. Um, I've got my first layer of skin on him, and uh, uh, I've inked him. So I'm going to build the skin up. The white, I'm quite happy with. On him. That looks really good, Joel. Closer, though. Oh, actually, it looks a lot better on my computer screen than it does on uh, my <laughs> phone. It looks nice on mine now. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at. I'll show you some of the non-metallic I've done because I'm not that happy with it on the. Um, these guys, have a look at that. See what you think when it comes up, like his helmet. No, right, well, it's oh. it's hard to see, but there seems to be quite a lot of contrast, and that's what you need with non-metallic metal. Is that is that alright? It looks it, it looks seems better to be. on there than it. It looks better on there than it does in real life, actually. Yeah, that's. But I like this, it. I might just. The same. That's it looks it looks very good from from this point I'll of view. Show, this guy's got a lot of lots of metal on. Oh, here we go. Um, I can focus him. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Not really added any more color to him. I've, I've really just done the base skin and inked it, and then to build it up. But they're coming on, you know. I'm not sure. What what do you think about the greens on them? Um, I'm, I'm 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 I've still got to really do the end highlights and I'm going to do a bit more inking to colour it, maybe some reds and some browns and, uh, It's hard to see, Joel, I think uh, it, I think it looks nice, yeah it's, uh, That guy, yeah Yeah, it's, it just won't focus my phone, it's annoying The um, right, There you go, it's got some focus there Have you played with the chef? He's, uh, I can't remember if you've no, used him No, I haven't him. used them at all, no Oh, he's so funny to play with the chef <laughs> Has he changed much, Gobbo, in the new rules? or? Uh, not that much. There are models that changed quite a lot more, and the chef is still, I do think, the the best halfling model around. Some of his um, spells, well, they're not really spells, are they? It's uh, his some of them. His, his recipes, are, yeah, his recipes uh, are really, really strong. Adam, so, can you remember the um, game we had with that chef? Yeah, didn't he give everyone the squits and they died? <laughs> it, it, it were like a, it were like a giant mass murder, like a, it were like it a was. giant. Uh... Yeah, that's that's the downside if you get greedy. <laughs> that, that's <laughs> why you call it overpower. <laughs> but but you can't blame your chef for it because uh, if you turn up two cards and you already have like fourteen. <laughs> But you want 16 and you turn another card, you know that there is a good chance that you will commit mass murder. And if you <laughs> turn that card, it's completely your fault. So Danielle's asking... That, that, um, that was a rule I played from. Who gets a chef? So in Ark World, the halflings aren't, supposedly aren't very good at using magic. And so what the chef does, he um, slips a bit of the Arcanite crystals, which contain the magical powers. I think he grinds them up and uh, adds them to his uh, recipes. Arcanite spice. Yeah, Arcanite spice. He adds it to his recipes and uh, with hilarious consequences sometimes. It's crack, basically, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Crystal meth. Yeah. We need a halfling version, version of Walter White. The, uh, oh yeah, a little, little bald head and a little beard. If you convince Alex to do that, I will gladly do the rules for it. <laughs> he he <laughs> can be the um, he can be like the supplier to the chef. What would you? He'd be the um, this um, what would you call him? I don't know. The dealer. Quartermaster. The well, yeah, the quartermaster. Brilliant. The so halfling quartermaster. But but I want to point That's out right. that the halflings got a real mage. They got what? That's a real, real mage? mage? Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah, yeah. I I made rules for all the oh, okay. troubles in the north uh, mages, uh, the the Trowbridge mages. I mean, so they by now have a real mage. What's this I hear about the Albion crew um, having at least one of four mages? Having what? Is there something like 
certain wizards have different characteristics. Is that true? Yeah, there's the the normal wizard, and uh, I made rules for the uh, Trowbridge wizards, which have other an, uh, another spell set and stuff. I'll have to look into this. Because uh, I quite like the I quite like arc lightning. Yeah, so you have to stick. You have to stick to the to the normal, normal mage. Yeah, I really, I really like him. I think it's a brilliant character. You can do uh, that. In my in my fight with Joel, um, I ended up committing uh, Harry Carey. At one oh, point, he's... you'd done more damage than me, hadn't you? To yourself. <laughs> if you if you're able to. A rush into the enemy camp and do the 26 plus, I think, over power on purpose, uh, and you succeed in doing the, uh, so, he can be quite brutal. <laughs> it was, yeah, my, my guy pretty much just uh, tore himself to pieces. Pew pew. It was yeah, it's an interesting one. tactic. Is uh, overpowering on purpose? Uh, it, it's not as easy as it sounds, and uh, it's only useful if you're if you're the the Albionic and Mage, you the wizard. Because if you're not, your overpower won't cast random arc lightnings to everybody. And it's not as easy as you might think to overpower on purpose. So explain um, why. Why it is not uh, as easy to overpower on purpose as you mm. want? Yeah. Because the cool everyone dies overpower effect uh, only triggers on a uh, value of, I think it's 26 or higher. Ah, right, okay, yeah. And uh, you immediately stop to turn cards if you overpower. So you need to jump from below 21 to 26. And uh, since you're drawing random cards, it's not that easy. And you might just end up with a lame normal overpower killing yourself. Yeah. By the way, the best one to kill themselves are, are uh, gremlin shamans. Mm. But oh. without any positive effect. Have you seen my goblin shaman? <laughs> um, only that time in the bathroom once. Uh, <laughs> hey, don't. What's this with, with those bathroom stories between you two? <laughs> is there something we want to know no you definitely don't want to know that is there something it's like the fishing trip on um, Gavin and Stacey we just uh, shouldn't talk about it really so it's not like we don't want to know it's like you don't want us to know yeah we've said too much already so, uh, Danielle, is anyone know if the rules will be available through the Kickstarter? Um, I'm not sure if we're allowed to say something, but you, you might know that better because you know Alex better than me. Well, I know the... Well, obviously, all the models that are coming out for the Kickstarter have their own rules, which... I guess everyone's picked up on that we're play testing at the moment. So um, I can, I guess it's perfectly safe to say that by the time you get the miniatures to your door, they will be playable. Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. Um, and I guess it would be 
a good idea as part of the Kickstarter process for people to have some kind of idea or taste for how they play. So that may involve um, maybe us doing a something similar to this with Alex and probably Gobbo. You're probably the best person to I may do, even... do some kind of teasers and sneak previews of how the new factions and miniatures play because I know some people before they pledge may want to get a feeling for, well, how does this... Uh, particular faction what's their play style like and uh... I made an online tool to be able to play with dudes from the UK like yourself if you like we can do live streams with that so like a bit like Vassal a little like Vassal in 3d uh, that sounds good sounds very good do they mean does the core rules come with the tools enough? Because they're saying they haven't got any Arc World stuff yet, but they're holding up for the Kickstarter. So maybe they mean, will, uh, will it be part of it, or maybe it'll be a bolt on? Mm, yes, I don't. That's a good question. I don't know. Um, I, I mean, I will, I will message Alex and ask him uh, how uh, much we we were uh, allowed to say. Okay. Uh, so two often? souls, sobs leaving. Bye. Oh, any of you guys painted the Star Wars Imperial Assault figures? Raging against asking. Um, I, I have. have. Yeah, you have, haven't you, Joe? I haven't personally, yeah. but um, not not particularly well. But uh, I've painted some of them. I've painted the uh, AT AT Walker. Have you got any you can show on the uh, screen? Maybe uh, Raging oh, Again wants oh, to see some. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Check this Mine out. are in the Check cellar, so I can't be bothered to go and get them in a box. Uh, <laughs> okay. I'm afraid. I'm in my pyjamas. So, Raging Again, I think Dave has gone to get you some. You ask and you shall receive. So, guys, I am really chuffed with this one. Um, I don't know if you can see properly, but this is uh, the Stormtrooper. Yeah, we can see. Oh, I'll stop talking, sorry. Um, so, I, I mean, I've seen Joel's models, and it is nothing, nothing like his. Absolutely perfection. However, this one I'm pretty damn, I'm pretty chuffed about, because it's, it's like the... Uh, the thing. Oh, I've got to talk, Dave. That looks ace. <laughs> Yay! Oh, I know. Right the mine. The sword. <laughs> but uh, it's it's got the fake grass on there. The uh, the little Ewok corpses where it's just sort of smashed them into the ground. It's awesome. Oh, fantastic! <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm I'm chuffed with it. I think it's it's come out quite well. Um, pew, pew. Yeah, I just, I just, ah, Star Wars. Yeah, yeah, love it. I have like four core sets of Imperial Assaults and multiple copies of all the uh, expansions here. If you like to paint them, I would be willing to send them to you. Why have you got so many? Because I'm working for the company that is the publisher in Germany. Oh, Fantasy Flight? No, Heidelberger Spiele Verlag. Oh. We we do the German the German versions and I'm a volunteer uh, ah. help them out at uh, fairs and lecturing things and stuff. Excellent. Uh, I, I, have, I have received an answer from Alex. Yep. And uh, we may uh, tell the ones who are asking when they get the rules that there will be an open beta for uh, those rule sets. So if you like, you may tell them that. Wow, you think you just did that very eloquently uh, <laughs> yourself. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So there's going to be an open beta that everyone could get involved with um, to test the rules. So if you're going to pledge on the Kickstarter, you might as well uh, 
get involved on the in and start using them before you receive yeah. them and contribute to um, perfecting them for when uh, you yeah. do get them through the door. If if Alex agrees with my suggestions, I will be will be doing an email just for feedback and reports that I Brilliant. check re regularly twice a week. Daniel says, "Oh, nice." And back to Imperial Assault, raging again, said he's struggling to find a good colour for Boba Fett's armour. Any Green. suggestions? Green. Greeny grey, isn't it? Greeny bluey grey. So uh, I suspect he's actually, you know, any particular products uh, uh, for, from any for range. Which, for which, which colour are you, are you struggling? Let's see if he is replies. It, is, it, is it the green you're struggling with, or the brown reddish tones, or where is your problem, man? <laughs> 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 Let's give him some time what to is, type. What is your problem? <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> I can only really recommend Citadel paints myself. I know. I know quite a few of the colours. Well, let's see what he's after. Uh, the green, yes, he said. I, I, I would like to use... Uh, I, the green I used on the orcs would be pretty good for that, the darker one. I just need to see what it's called. It's called Castellan Green, and it's from Games Workshop. So that or an equi equivalent, the same color with another name from uh, Vallejo would do, I think. Would people mind if I got rid of the um, chat box from my um, video feed? Because I think it keeps getting in the way of my model. Just, just put it where your face is, mate. So, 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 yeah, get so, rid of my face. Good point. Yeah, so no, I'm, ki I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You want to block out the viewers just because you're not able to hold your miniature in the right way? That's right. Yeah, I'm struggling. Well, I might, uh, I might swap it. Uh, just, just take it out if it bothers you. Take it out. Uh, let's have a look. There we go. Maybe if I move it up here out of the way, that might be better. So, Gobbo. Yeah. Do you have an opinion on uh, the UK leaving the EU? Yeah. Is it a good one? <laughs> yeah. Oh, all right. Okay. I thought you. I don't know. Maybe have something uh, to share or say. Uh... I I I, I uh, have a good opinion on that. I don't know if you like it. <laughs> Every, uh, no, I think I think everyone's um, entitled to their opinion and. I, I don't think it's it's a, it's a good idea to do that, oh, either well, for the EU and me, for the EU and for UK for the UK. As of as of now in the UK, I haven't really felt any um, any sort of like effect from yeah. that. You know, well, we haven't left the EU. Yet. <laughs> that's that's because you haven't left the EU, right? Yeah. And oh, if you man. if you have left the EU and you lose all those uh, good uh, business and trading contracts, you will feel bad. Yeah, it, it should never have been allowed. People should never have been allowed to vote for it. People are clue. People are clueless as it is. Do you know what I mean? The, the, they don't know the, the, how to dress or eat properly. How do you think? <laughs> that, why do why do you, why do you give them a? A vote on such a massive thing that you know the foremost experts in the world aren't sure about. <laughs> the the yeah, best ridiculous. thing ridiculous. The best thing is the Google results one day after the vote. Do you know what the two most um, uh, uh, searched uh, words or uh, sentences were on Google uh, the day after uh, the Brexit was uh, voted no. for? <laughs> The first was, what does the Brexit mean? And the second was, what is the EU? <laughs> Brilliant. Fantastic. Yeah, I saw, I saw that. I saw that amongst all the other ap apocalyptic uh, premin uh, predictions of what was going to happen to us all. As, um, 
I've still got all the clothing on my back, um, thankfully, because that I'm sure that was one of the posts. You won't have any clothes left. You'll you'll have no food. No, and I don't think it will be that bad. But uh, point is, you will lose all your your good deals in Europe. And uh, if I were another country, and uh, you would come to me and say like, oh, I don't want to participate any longer, but please make another deal with us to replace the last one i wouldn't give you a good uh, as good conditions as before i'm i'm not a political guy at all um however you know i i, I didn't quite i tend to live under a rock and i i do my own thing and i live my life every day and um sort of like the um When the referendum came around and everything, I I didn't even vote. I had no I I didn't even have any uh, sort of opinion on it at all. I I felt um, I don't know. I felt I just best not bother sticking my nose into something I know nothing about. Hmm. That's a better decision than uh, just voting without. Uh getting knowledge about it which i feel is what a lot of people did just vote without uh... well the problem was that there was so much misinformation going around i don't think uh what people uh it was very difficult for a lot of people i think to make sense of it all you know my overwhelming decision was made on the basis that more people who were definitely evil wanted to leave. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Rupert Murdoch or, you know, uh, but, but, certain right-wing politicians, that they, they, they all really wanted to do it. It's, it's you know, not... So, not that difficult to get good informations on issues like that. I mean, it's it's common sense that politicians all lie. So just just need to get to the internet and do some uh, good research and not just believe the first page you get. Unfortunately, most people in Britain just believe what they read in the newspaper. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's uh, that's the case all over the world. Yeah. So. So, but for me, the argument boiled down to there was two sides. There was one was if we stay in the EU, everything remains the same and we'll carry on as we are. Or if we leave the EU, there'll be some change. And some were saying that change would be good. Some were saying that change would be bad. So everyone who's got nothing, and that's a lot of people in our country, they've got absolutely nothing. Uh, and things seem to be just getting worse and worse. And you say to them, well, if you vote to remain, things will stay the same. Well, I don't want things to stay the same. My life's shit. Um, so I think a lot of people in this country who don't have much in their life and things aren't going great for them um, looked at that and said, well, well, yeah, I don't, want, I don't want this country to stay the same because it's pretty horrible to me. Um, I think I'll vote for a bit of change and take the risk. Yeah. Thanks very much. And sadly, it's probably them that's going to, um, you know, suffer most. It, it's like it, it can't get worse. You, you well, know. and if that's true, then it's criminal the the way that the campaigns were were fought because there was so much misinformation and poor mm -hmm. delivery of facts and counter facts and it was a disgrace and outright really lies and outright and lies. lies um and and kind of a mockery really and i'm embarrassed of how that must have looked around the world <laughs> it looked just like a normal uh, politics uh, thing it, it's not like that it was better in france or uh, america or germany It's all the same. Politi uh, politicians lie to uh, get votes. It's their job. No, it, it's not their job, but it's what they uh, what they do. <laughs> Raging against us. He, someone, someone he worked with was uh, 
was voting to leave because they didn't want to use Euro. <laughs> uh, it's not like you're using the Euro now or something like So, anyway, um, Arkworld, um, I have a question. Is anyone familiar with the Ogre? It's not that you can ask if Albonica should leave... Uh... <laughs> no. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, so. definitely. Abionica should leave Arkworld and take Hobbington with, yeah. with him. So the Greenskins yes. can rule. <laughs> I think so. I think so. So, I hereby Sorry. Sorry. found the Greenskin. Uh, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Is anyone familiar with the Ogre um, model? With the model or with the roots? The actual sculpt, the model. Uh, more or less. What's your question? I want to know what the uh, facial hair is like. You mean for, for which color or, or what? Any, anything, anything. Have you checked the 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 shop side? Um, I usually just make things up as I go along. Um, just what I do. I tend to, it tends to work quite well, I guess. So, so you, 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 right, guys, you, I'm going to go now. I'll see you oh, later. All right, take my, care. My phone's getting incredibly hot, and I'm just getting paranoid about it. Bye bye. So, so yeah, let's go. See you. Thanks for joining in, Joe. Well, let's um, let's say we'll call it. Um, if you shut things down at ten o'clock, so we've got fifteen minutes left. And uh, if people don't mind, you you want to make uh, an end early today? What time did we end last time? I can't remember. Oh, much later, like eleven o'clock. Oh, was it? It was nearly midnight at my place, and oh, I'm no. an hour ahead. Um, well, I don't know. See what people want to do. How are you, Dave? Uh, unfortunately, still... I stink. I, I stink. I think I need a shower and then... <laughs> well, I've got to get up early for work in the morning, so uh, 10 o'clock would suit me well to get a good night's sleep. You're uh, the boss. This is your channel. <laughs> okay, I'll make an executive decision. We're going to uh, end things in 13 minutes. Okay, boss man. <laughs> okay, you will see. Yeah, so I'm, I'm thinking of giving him like a, a grey sort of beard. Uh, I'm going to make him an old sort of veteran ogre. Grey is on Vogue, huh? Yeah, yeah. Let's see if it pays off. Great sort of beard, an old ogre. Yeah, like like a Gandalf looking guy. The grey. I've never actually. Uh, I don't think I've ever played against your ogre. And I haven't had the chance to look at his rules. Is he? Uh, is he good? He's quite. He's quite expensive. That's why I, I tend to field quantity over quality. Right. Um. But I tell you what. Next next time I uh, I, I give you a a, a battle, I, I'll use him. Okay. He is uh, the kind of uh, buff your regular troops and stay defensive guy. Okay. So he's he's fantastic. He's fantastic. Bodyguard. He's around the captain. He, he's he's a bodyguard to the captain, and uh, he makes all the the regular guys around him uh, to reroll their lo uh, failed cavalist checks. And uh, if he goes for shield block, he's uh, practically in unkillable. Mm. Um, Spud's in the room. Hey, Spud, how you doing? 
uh, the Wargaming Viking. And Danielle, I'm going to be off as well. Good night, y'all. I really enjoyed watching this. Oh, thanks for hanging out again, Danielle. Um, so, yeah, we're going to wrap things up about 10 o'clock. So there's another 10 minutes to go for those that have just joined us. What are you up to, Spud? No. Do you have a do you have a paint the really sort of detailed part and then just slap paint right on where you're working? <laughs> That's why I keep a second brush behind my ear, Dave, so you can instant access to an eraser. Unbelievable, eh? Unbelievable. Why do you need a second brush for that? So well I use the second brush for all sorts of things, but one good reason is for mistakes you can you've got a brush you can instantly reach for and lick and and uh, get rid of any mistakes uh, just quickly don't make, just don't make mistakes well that is impossible yeah um but it's also there to help blend as well so two brush blending i'm so happy that i don't do the fancy stuff <laughs> Your work looks really good, though. Adam's or mine? From from the model I'm looking, and from what I've seen, I think it's fantastic. Spud's uh, beautiful. Spud fe Spud's feeling beautiful. Just notice this now. Sorry I'm late. Just off to read a good book. What are you reading, Spud? Before you go, let us know. If I've... I've recommended this book to loads of people but you've got to read it it's so good um ready player one if you haven't read it already um steven spielberg is making the film of it um i think it's coming out in a couple of years time it is so good if you grew up in the 80s like i did um it's got loads of 80s references and um is that is that the uh, treasure map one yeah it's a bit like, like the, yeah it's, it's less left uh it's like a billionaires left um easter eggs inside his uh, game that everyone uses in the future it's like a virtual reality game and it follows this young kid who's the first person to actually find one of the easter eggs after about a decade where people think it was just a joke and um everyone's about to give up playing the game and uh, it kind of revives everyone's enthusiasm because anyone who finds all the clues, gets the bil the billionaires, uh, billions. It's a bit like, I suppose it's a bit like uh, Charlie in the Chocolate Factory. He's, uh, he's going to leave his billions to whoever can figure out um, finding all the clues within the game. It's good. But in the real world, um, obviously, when billions are on offer, pe lots of sinister people want that money. And uh, so there's some people in the real world that are trying to assassinate this kid or, uh, you know, or convince him to work for them because they want the money. That, that would be my approach. Uh, Spud's reading first. Heretic 30k spe Space Marines. The first Heretic. Oh, I haven't read that one. Is it good? I, um, last one I read was a um, Dark Angels. Uh, I'll wait for a reply from him. He's also asking, uh, are these free to join? Because they are. You can, uh, well, there's only five minutes left, Spud, but um, we seem to be doing, this is only the second one. We've been doing them uh, Wednesday evenings at 8 p.m. Um, but I post it up on the Ark World um, will you make pa page this, on Facebook. Will you make this a, a weekly session? I'm going to try. Um, and um, if I can't, then I can't see why you guys can't pick up the gauntlet and do it when I can't, so to keep the community going. Um, so you need one of us to give uh, the rights to do stuff on your channel? Well, or just uh, do it on your own channel and, and post it up on, on the Facebook page. So right. when I can't do it, host it yourself. I can do that. I, I already have a, a, a channel here. So, um, you know, because I do have a young family and sometimes I've got other things, responsibilities. You're prioritizing your family over <laughs> arts and miniatures? I know, I'm what, sorry. What, what kind of geek are you? 
I don't, I don't, I don't like this side of you, Adam. I don't like it at all. <laughs> Think of the children. Think of all the joy <laughs> they will get from you painting. <laughs> Think of the children. I hope someone's just mess messaged me. I'm really sorry, guys. I don't think the uh, the beard was a good idea after all. The beard is always a good idea. Not when I'm painting. Why not? So I was hoping that Alex would join us tonight, but maybe he still yeah. hasn't sorted out a decent webcam. He said he 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 wouldn't not uh, tonight. I asked him uh, before we started, because I really hoped he would. I would uh, have loved to see some some sculpting. Mm. So, is are these sessions limited to um, uh, painting? No, no. Because I have some uh, Arcworld terrain features <clears throat> I have not finished, and uh, which are taking up large space on my on my working table. And I want to go get rid of them. No, uh, feel free to uh, do some terrain. So maybe when I'm done with the orcs, I will I will do some some me and, terrain. Me and Adam, have, me and Abba, me and Adam have a fantastic tip for um, terrain. It's the uh, you know the little ornaments in the uh, fish tanks. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, the pre-painted, the detailed, and the, the they are to scale. The fantastic. Yeah, but uh, there is a problem with them. I do actually enjoy making terrain. <laughs> yeah, that's this is true. Yeah. Blue jeans for everyone. For example, I have this half finished or rented avionic and watchtower here. I don't know if you can see them. You see it? I have to change the camera. Good night, Spud. Oh, sorry. I'll stop talking. Say that again, Gobbo. Yeah, I have this 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 begun avionic and watchtower here, Whoa. which I need to uh, to finish and. Uh, I, I got a the beginning of a of a Bayouk hut like like this and and stuff like that and also of course I I finished the bridge and I need to to paint it and do some sand on it the bridge is done wow that's perfect. That's that's the troll bridge. <laughs> Very nice. Is that from? Um, uh, do they call that balsa foam or something like that? I, I don't know. It's it's just uh, a kind of uh, hard foam and uh, like 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 this. It's it's very sturdy kind of foam and very very fine. And uh, I have a lot of little boxes over here, and I do like like little little stones from it and uh, glue them together just like uh, if I would do uh, with a real wall. Looks great, really effective. Um, toadstools. Do you see my toadstools? Yeah, yeah they look awesome. I, I don't know if it's effective the way I'm doing it but I really like the the style you get from doing it that way and uh, that's why I'm doing that 
So you know the uh, arc coil models? Yeah. Some conversions that I've done. Yeah. Because I've uh, I don't know if anyone else has done this, but the you know the wizard. Yeah. I've uh, put a little on top of his. Uh, oh yeah. Stuff. That looks amazing with the light shining through it, Dave, on camera. It was it was crazy, didn't it? It's a little bit big, don't you think? Ah, he's a strong guy. You can take. It. <laughs> <laughs> I think you um, you, need, you need to give his attacks some more extra power points because of the heavy staff. That's true. Yeah. Um, would you like to see the shaman? The uh, the shaman. Yes, please. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if it's in uh, focus or anything. You, you need to talk while you while you're showing him. I need to do what? Sorry. You need to talk. The camera switches to the guy who is talking. Oh. Okay. Talk, Dave. Dave, talk if you want to show us something. Okay, so um, the way that I've uh, painted my shaman, it's it's really brightly coloured on the camera. But uh, I absolutely love him. I think he's such a little cool guy. Did you post him in the official group? No, I didn't. Um, I've just sort of shown him off to the... Um, Local gaming group that we've done. You should, you should, you should post him. Um, yeah, put him on the Facebook page, Dave. Right. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll give that. I'll do that now. It's um, um it, it's ten o'clock, so uh, let's uh, wrap things up. Um, I'll say goodbye to everyone in the chat room. Thank you, everyone, for joining us and viewing. Um, you know, you can always actually join in next time. Um, join the Arkworld Facebook page if you haven't done already, and I, I post a link on there to actually join in painting. Um, and thank you, Joel, who's gone. Thank you, Gobbo. Thank you, Dave, for the company and um, sharing all your painting knowledge with everyone who's been watching and just for keeping me company. It's been good. Yeah, thanks for having us. Thanks for having me, buddy. It's a pleasure. Okay, good night, guys. Bye. Bye. Good night, guys.